we have seen that science and research and unity are key to being able to get through this crisis together. And it is so important, therefore, that we get as much information about how people are feeling, how households are feeling, as we can. And now that we've reached the level that we want to gain information from people about how they tackled the pandemic, uh, I think it's vital that we get everyone in society, that we get a, the whole spectrum of society, including non-Icelandic speakers. I know personally that when you don't understand all of the complex jargon and vocabulary about what's going on, that it's really hard to get information and to find out what's going on. Those of us who don't have such an extended family and friend network here also have our own challenges. Maybe there's a little bit less job security. Maybe there's a little bit more difficult situations at home where we're not sure what services are available to us in the healthcare service for our mental health and our physical health. And that's why it's even more important for anyone out there not to let a knowledge of Icelandic or not stop you from taking part in this because it is so important for us to know how you're feeling as well and for you to share with us your experiences so we can make sure that everybody knows about the services that are available to them and can help people with the help that they need. Take part and uh, in that sense we'll, we'll get a, a good idea of how society as a whole uh, has been affected and how we're gonna get through this together. And if this crisis ever comes up again, we can hopefully use that research to help improve everyone's lives and, and help us all to feel better. Mm -hmm.